Hi, I am Pastor Paul from Christ Lutheran Church, Pewaukee. The good Lord has called me to share the good news with my South Asian friends and also with my American friends too. Right now, we are in the Advent season at the beginning of our Lutheran liturgical calendar where we celebrate the birth of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ along with anticipating His second coming as we prepare for the Day of Judgment. Last Sunday, lighting the first candle, which is called the candle of hope, we see in the Old Testament, God sent his prophets to the people of Israel and the other people too, to proclaim about the forthcoming Messiah. This was the good news of God's love, his care, his sacrifice. The passage for today devotion has been taken from the book of Numbers, chapter 24, verses 15 to 18. Then he spoke his message, the prophecy of Balaam, son of Bor, the prophecy of one whose eye sees clearly, the prophecy of one who hears the word of God, who has the knowledge from the Most High, who sees a vision from the Almighty, who falls prostrate, and whose eyes are open. Now the real story starts. I see him. But not now, I behold him, but not near. A star will come out of Jacob. A scepter will rise out of Israel. He will crush the forehead of Moab, all the people of Sheth. Edom will be conquered. Seir, his enemy, will be conquered. But Israel will grow strong. That is the word of God. In from taken from the Old Testament. This is one of the prophecies of the Old Testament about the forthcoming Messiah. Balaam is a non Israelite prophet. Described in the book of Numbers from chapter 22 to 24 as reviled as a wicked man and a king Balak wanted him to curse Israel. But here, instead of cursing Israel, he described the positive blessing on Israelites. In this unrequested oracle, Balaam prophecies reaches its climax when he points out about the coming Messiah whom he sees not now, not in near future. He describes that Messiah will arise just like a star from Israel with a scepter. Although this prophecy was fulfilled in the time of David when he became the king of Israel, but eventually the ultimate fulfillment we see when Jesus was born. It was the desire of ages. Many people anticipated to see him as their savior. While lighting the violet candle, it reminds us the big hope in savior. What kind of hope the human race finds in him? Hope is an expectation of positive outcome with respect to events and circumstances in our lives or even in the world at large. But unfortunately, hope in this world can be a false hope, a wish without reality or a natural hope as the farmer sows the seed with a confidence and trust that he will harvest the crop as a fulfillment of that hope of his hard, of his hard work. Sometime his hope is shattered and does not get the crop as he expected. Having our hope in Christ reminds us of his promises he made while he showed us his mighty power that he was God-man who was promising us for declaring us righteous in the eyes of God by sacrificing his life on the cross and securing for us the life everlasting. We are not wishing for a working hard for securing the life everlasting after we leave this world. But God through his son's sacrifice on the cross has already given to us the broad, the, the bright light to this world which he brought. And he encourages us to walk in the light with the assurance that darkness will not prevail anymore. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the time that we all are in this world and we have a great hope in you 
that we find the forgiveness of our sins, justified through your sacrifice, and then our everlasting hope, our everlasting life is cured. Thank you, Jesus, for that. Amen.